Welcome to TT Boy TV. We are here today with one of the great veterans of the adult business. This guy has been in the business so long. He has so much information. Please welcome super nice guy, Herschel Savage. Thank you. Nice to be here. Yeah, TT Boy, legend. <laughs> Always shadow boxing, man. Even even when he masturbates, he's shadow boxing. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> how's it going, man? It's going okay. It's going okay. okay. Staying alive. So how you been? I've been good. I've been good. Staying alive, you know. Yeah. My son's doing well. I'm. I'm. Uh, right now, I'm driving for Lyft. Really? That's right. You know, and everyone asks me, uh, does anyone recognize you? And I say, no. Oh. <laughs> they only see the back of my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I had a few uh, uh, young guys that were talking all this sex shit and everything, and I. Uh, I, I let on who I was, and I said, go on, Google me. And they said, oh, shit. Yeah, they gave me the $25 tip. It was nice. Oh, yeah, that's cool. How's that, driving for Lyft? It's not bad. You know, I mean, I, you know, I, uh, I certainly got to know the city in L.A. County great. I mean, it's kind of a grind. I mean, you can't make a ton of money right now. I'm driving a nice car, but, you know, it's, I, I make my own hours enough to survive and I meet some nice people. So it's nothing exciting, no no wild sex stories. I mean, I'm, a, I'm at the age right now where they say, call me sir. <laughs> you know, you know when they start calling you sir, you're near the grave, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you don't look that old, you look good. How old are you? I'm 67. Yeah? Just turned 67. Well, happy birthday. Thank you very much. Yeah, how's your health? Uh, pretty good. I mean, you know, I mean, I look in the mirror every day and it, and it's like a, I'm falling apart, you know, it's really? like, you know, whatever. <laughs> you know, you right. know, a little plastic surgery would be great, you know, but whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm doing good. I, I, you know, I, I, I chant, I'm a Buddhist, so uh, it really keeps my spirits high and stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The body is strange. You can do things with your own body and mind together that'll help you feel better. Oh, absolutely. I know that. I mean, look at you. You're a perfect physical specimen. Mentally ill, but you're, you're <laughs> fucking great, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, where are you from, anyways? I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Yeah? Uh, born and raised in Brooklyn. I uh, started my porn career in uh, New York in 1976, and uh, after three years working the, uh, working the board, so to say, this is the time, you know, when when the women in the business were not as attractive as when you came around and everyone was hiding their identity. These were actresses that were putting on wigs and shit. So, uh, um, it, 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 it was, it was a good time. It really was. But, uh, in 79, I decided to get the hell out of New York. I moved to San Francisco where my career really took off 79. So Brooklyn, huh? Brooklyn, New York. So my father's from Brownsville. Is that right? Yeah, that's Bro Brooklyn, huh? That's, of course it's Brooklyn, yeah. It's a little rough. Is that a rougher neighborhood, Brownsville? When I was growing up, Brownsville would not be where you want to live. You know, Bed-Stuy, Brownsville. Now there's millionaires there. Brownsville. Really? Oh, Bed-Stuy, man, are you kidding me? You can't get in there for under a million bucks, man. Brooklyn has completely changed. I thought you would have known that because you got some nice real estate. Yeah, no, Brooklyn is super, super wealthy right now. Wow, man. Yeah. Well, my... um. Other side is from the Bronx. Oh yeah. Oh, they're near um, Fordham, not far. far you from you weren't Fordham. born in New York, though, right? No, I was born out here. Okay. Yeah, yeah Bronx and, and Brownsville. You got a you got a gangster right there. Yeah. Uh, you know, you, there's no way else you could have been brought up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many kids from your family? Uh, really, just me and my brother. Really. Oh, just you and Keith. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. But my father was a pretty uh, serious guy. Is he still alive? No, he's... Oh, sorry to hear that. So, uh, Brooklyn. What, what, um, can you tell me the social economic status growing up? I was like, I was like middle class and stuff. My father was a stockbroker. He had some, 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 uh -huh. some health problems. So he died young at 46 when I was 15. Um, but it was like, you know, growing up in New York, uh, if, if you're exposed to New York and you're not sheltered or a mama's boy and stuff, you, you, you learn how to navigate life. You, you learn how to, uh, you know, look at bullshit and know it for what it is. You can't be hustled. I mean, even like, you know, I, I remember I'm in San Francisco. I first go to San Francisco. I'm on the street on Market Street and shit. 
And Market I'm, Street Cinema. I love that place. But anyways, where? Market Street Cinema. Oh, yeah. Market Street, right. I, I, yeah, I used to do live shows. Uh, on, really? Oh, yeah, I did oh, everything, right. man. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm on the street on Market Street. This is like sometime in the evening. And this, I didn't see this guy. This homeless guy says, is you? He like screams, you got a cigarette or something. And like, I'm like, I didn't even jump. I was like, no. I mean, <laughs> I mean this is New York, right? right. You see every fucking thing, you know? So it's, it, it, you, you become aware. Yeah. You know? I thought I'd seen New York guys have really the best game, right? The best uh, talking game. I mean, they get. They can't. Of, some do. Right? Some, some do, yeah. A bullshit game. Because like, you're saying, well, it, what's your New well, York? Well, yeah, well, some are bullshit, some are not, but they're, yeah. they're, they're, they're hip. Yeah. You know, they know what the fuck's going down. You know, I mean, you, you, you're not, if you come from New York and you're not stupid, you, you, you know what the shit, yeah, what what the shit is. You know? right. In those days, especially. Because things yeah, are changing I think so. now. No, things now, like I was talking about Brooklyn becoming wealthy with New York, man, Manhattan. That's even more than Brooklyn, you know. So, yeah, it, it, they, they pushed the poor out. They gentrified, changed everything, cleaned a lot of shit up. You got to have a lot of money to live in New York. You really do. You know, my um, one of the distributors, Yako. You ever heard of Yako? Yeah. Right. Yako was telling me that Brooklyn was all cleaned up. That the places were going for a lot of money. Like ten years ago, he said this thing started. No, about six years ago. Right after two thousand eight, stuff was dropped to nothing, and then it just started totally, moving again. Totally, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, but yeah, I heard. Yeah. Brooklyn, that's crazy. You'd love New York, man. Uh, no, of course I've been to New York. Uh, no, but do you like it? Yeah, it's cool. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you got to have a friend there, man, to show you around. Yeah. Because if you're just walking around, it's like that boom, 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 boom. You know, it's like you're like on guard. But New York's a great place, man. You know, the, the f strange thing I find about New York is the humidity. Oh, I hate that, man. It's crazy, yeah, right? The Northeast, man, it sucks. You, you wake up in the morning in the summer to take a shower, and then you walk out, you need another fucking shower. It's unbelievable, yeah. The best time in New York is the spring and the fall. Beautiful yeah. time, man. Beautiful. Yeah, I don't think the people out there that don't live in New York understand that the humidity in New York is crazy. 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 Well, the whole eastern seaboard. I mean, if, uh, down to Florida. I mean, that's why I never want to live in Florida. I don't like fucking bugs. I don't want snakes in my toilet and shit, and I don't want to sweat all the time. Oh, you got the air conditioner on all the goddamn time, yeah. Now, L.A.'s the best. Yeah, L.A.'s the best for sure, right? I mean, you got so much stuff around here. Totally. Mount, you got the beach, you got the mountains, you want to go you skiing. Got, you got everything. You got man. Vegas, you got Mexico. It's pretty got, good, man. Yeah, you got everything. It's, it's a great yeah. place to live, it really is. Yeah. So your father was a stockbroker. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he was a stockbroker, salesman. Yeah, he was a great guy, man. It was a big loss to lose yeah, him. That sucks, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. I know how it feels. You know, it's no good. No, it's no good. How old were you? I was about 36. Oh, you yeah. said so you were already an adult. Yeah, I was 15, so I was fucked up to begin with, you know. Yeah. And plus, you know, it's like, you know, as as his health deteriorated, and he was, a, uh, people loved my father, man. He, was, he had so many friends. His funeral was, like, packed. Yeah, wow. And uh, just, he, he would make friends on the street, spoke six languages. He was a great guy. But he had that, uh, he had that karma to not live a long life. And that, you know, when you're facing something like that, when you have a family you love and friends, it, it makes you, it, it, it fucks up your life because you don't want to let go. You don't want to have to leave that, you know, so, um, but he was a good man. So yeah. It was rough on him. Well, you could see that. Yeah. I mean, of course you're dying, but I mean, if you don't have a lot of friends, then maybe it's different. But if you have a lot of friends, like you're saying, then you really don't want to. Yeah, go. you know, family, though, most important. If you got family and stuff and they're there with you and you're close, that really helps. But to have friends, friends become family, really. Yeah. If you got good friends, they are your family. Yeah, for sure. That's, yeah. well, how about your mother? She. Uh, was... My mom passed away at ninety four in twenty sixteen. Wow, that's. Good. So yeah, she. I mean, no, that's a long life. She was a, a strong woman, man. She never had a debt she didn't pay. She was like, you know, her children, me and my older sister, we we were nothing like her, man. She was organized, OCD, clean, never had a debt she didn't pay. We were totally fucked up, man. But she was cool with my porn career. I mean, you know, she, she, we never, like, I never had a sit down with my mother, mom, I'm in fuck films, man. We never did anything like that. But she used to just giggle about it. But yeah, I never, you know, she, she loved me. She just wanted the best for me. That's what, yeah. Yeah. So what kind of guy were you in school? You look like you're 
physically fit always. Well, not now, but I was physically fit. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I played a little football. I played a lot of handball. Handball was a New York sport. You, you know, know, Dirty Harry was the um, handball champion in the Bronx. Was he really? Yeah. Because I knew one of the one of the United States champions named Kenny Gamble he used to w w play out of Coney Island. If you're familiar with Coney Island, that's the uh -huh. beach amusement park, and they had handball courts. I didn't know that about Harry. We never we never talked about that because I loved handball. Yeah. I used to play on the ice. Sick man, either yeah. pensy pinky or black ball. You know, it was it was a great sport. Loved it. Harry's got really good legs, good balance, good foot. Does he? Naturally, you know. Well, that's so, everything. Yeah, yeah. How's he doing, Harry? I think he's all right. I haven't talked to him. So. You have talked to him? I haven't talked to him. Really? Yeah. Where is he, in Florida? Yeah. Working still? No. no I think he's driving Lyft. Is he? <laughs> is he really? <laughs> there you go. That, that's the graveyard for porn legends, <laughs> man. Lyft. Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, if you do talk to him, say hi from me. I will. I will. So, yeah, you were um, playing football. For a couple of years, college or just high school? Uh, mostly on the street, street football. I wasn't oh, an organized because I was fucked up in school, man. I mean, oh, really? I mean, yeah, I was like, I was, I was um, kicked out of school for truancy and shit. And uh, I, I, you know, after my father died, I kind of flipped out, you know. So I, you know, I, I remember, I remember one day, uh, I'm, I'm sleeping. I used to stay out all night and then sleep all fucking day, you know. And uh, in the apartment with my mother, one day, uh, when you were 15. No, 16? this is more like 16, 15, 16, yeah, yeah. So, um, so one day uh, I hear, uh, I'm in my room and I hear, hey, Harvey, you coming to school today? I said, what the fuck is that? It's the truant officer. My mother lets the fucking truant officer into the fucking house. I was like, my, the fuck? Anyway, so, uh, so I, it, pretty soon after that, I quit. And then I later went back. I, I was dating this girl who had a connection at a different Brooklyn high school, New Utrecht. I, I went, originally went to Erasmus Hall. Anyone who knows Brooklyn knows Erasmus Hall. A lot of famous people went there. Barbara Streisand, Al Davis from the Raiders. So I went back to high school, got my high school diploma. And then, um, yeah, from there. Why were you going to school? Why wasn't I? Yeah. I, I was just too busy, like smoking weed and, and hanging out at night, man. So a lot of girls? I, no, I, I, uh, I didn't start like my uh, really becoming sexually active. Not that I didn't want to. I mean, I was, I had some sick sexual energy. Yeah, when was that first I, I lost my virginity at 17. No, but when did you first feel like you saw the girl and you said, like almost like the cartoon, you know what I mean? Like I was, I was, I was just like always aroused, man. I mean, I, I, mean, I didn't- Six years I, old, I, 10 years old, 12 years old? Oh, I, I, I think I, I, I probably 12. 12? Yeah. Pretty normal, man. Yeah, but, you know, even as, a, as an infant, you have kind of sexual feelings. You could, you know, yeah, it's not in, fully realized, but no, it was like, you know, and I was, I was kind of shy. I mean, I was a decent looking kid. I got much better looking later, but I wasn't a pickup artist. I wasn't going to bars, meeting girls and shit. And so I, I used to have these women who would usually, were overweight, they'd come after me. So I was, I was like, a, I was like a mark. <laughs> but for eight checks was unbelievable, you know. And, this is, and I said, I, this, I don't want any overweight women in my life. And for those women who are on the heavy side, I'm not putting you down. You're all so beautiful. And I've, I've had sex with many women that are zoftic, as we say. Um, but um, and and every major relationship I had, once I turned twenty. Always slender and shapely, man. Yes. I yeah, that's so. it, man. I, just, yeah. you know, <laughs> I don't want to criticize the woman I'm with, man. You know, so um, so once I became active, it was like you know, I was the I had two really close friends, and they were both sexually active with hot two girls, and and they wanted me to get laid, you know, and I was like, Shoot. I finally got this this heavy girl that came after me, two years older than me, and I finally lost my virginity. And, and the night I had lost my virginity, she starts crying. I'm going, why are you crying? And she goes, I'm happy. I said, she was happy? Yeah, she was happy. Was she a virgin? No. Oh. <laughs> but fuck that. You know, it was like, you know, but, but the, the second time I did it, I said, I want to move on. You know, I mean, so it took a while. To, you know, I, I've been stalked by women, man. Yeah. 
I have. That's cool. Yeah, um, it's mean? crazy, man. It's you know, it's not not with the knives and guns and shit. There's some sick bitches out there, but <laughs> but 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 uh, I you know I I I learned early on if you don't really dig a chick who really wants you, don't fuck her. Better off because once you fuck her, it's in their mind they're saying, "Yeah, I, I got." Her. Yeah, you think Do so? you understand what I'm saying? I mean, I, man, a lot of girls, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, when, yeah, when we were younger, I never, I don't know, I just fuck them and move on, you know? Okay, well, uh, you, uh, you, you're better York. at that than me. All right, whatever. I mean. Yeah. Maybe New York's different. Because no, no, New York's not yeah. different. I mean, the, every guy wants to fucking move on unless you meet the woman of your dreams. Yeah. I mean, you know, I've been married twice, you know, so you've never been married, right? All right, and you never will be. <laughs> There's <laughs> well, not going to be a little TT boy, huh? TT Junior. There's never going to be a TT fucking Junior. No, that's we don't know sucks. about that. You know, what I mean, that might that might be, but not marriage. Oh, okay. You have twelve kids. We don't know about. <laughs> Child supports a bitch. Okay. Anyway. No, I got no kids. No. Okay. Yeah. So at any rate, so yeah, I finally fell into my own, and it's just. So you hit. You got some action. You hit it, they say these days, right? At right. Se- 17. And she just, your buddies brought the girl over? And no, no, no. She was a, she was good friends with one of the girls my my good buddy was dating. So they were close. You know, she was a sharp chick, you know, funny, you know, like like a big personality, mm-hmm. which I am too, you know. But yeah. uh, but looks-wise, it's not what I'm jerking off to, man. Yeah. But I, I had to get it done. You know, I had to get yeah. the fucking you know. Seventeen. That's over. it was. Well, it, it, next na- date's already gone. Pretty much. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, mean, I, I see. I, I, I meet chicks all the time that was I lost their virginity at thirteen, twelve. I mean, yeah. I'm fucking bully. That's way too young. That's bad parenting, in my opinion. I, I, I lost my virginity at twelve. Okay, all right. You were lucky, man. I was real lucky. You were lucky. Yeah. Oh yeah. I kept moving on after that. Yeah, well, whatever. For me, that didn't work that way. I thought 17 was, like, ancient, but it's not. I know a lot of kids that don't lose their virginity until yeah. their 20s. Yeah. Peter North didn't lose his virginity until 18. Okay. So, you know I mean? It's interesting, right? I'm trying to get the mindset of porno stars, right? Because you're a legitimate porno star. You're not the new generation of Viagra right. and plastic pumps and all Jesus that Christ. You know, bullshit. I don't know how you could stick a needle in your dick, man. When I used to, when I was working on the second part of my career, because I retired in 87 and then came back in 97 in my 40s, I, I would see guys show up on, they the, the, the scene was about to start like a orgy or whatever, and they pull the towel off and the dick's hard. I'm going, what the fuck, man? Yeah. See, see, they they knew I was a fucking natural because when the, every scene would start and they're filming, my dick is like, not hard. And they would get hard right on camera, you know. But I, got, I didn't say shit, but it was it was almost like cheating to me, you know. I think it's really cheating. Yeah. It's chicken shit. You know, oh. you know, I'm going to bring that up later. But yeah, okay. I agree with you. I'm like, you know, for uh, the people don't understand, if you're a natural performer, you know, maybe people understand out there, but out in the audience, that performing on cue day in, day out, is a skill, and it's not so You either got it or you don't. Yeah, but you know, you still gotta be mental and physically set or perfect all the time. Pretty much. If you're not, if you're off, then you're gonna- pretty much, and everybody has an off day. I mean, even the greatest, okay? So, uh, but yeah, I mean, I always had that, man. I could come on cue anytime. You could do countdowns for me. I Ron Jeremy, we used to walk around saying, oh, countdown, fuck you, man. Doing that like years before you. But uh, yeah, I mean, I you see the my, my me and Al used to do the countdowns. Huh? Me and Al used to do countdowns. Yeah, I mean, we said, Al, you ready? You ready? You know, I, I, I did that all the time. So it was, it, it was like, I, I just enjoyed it, man. It, it, it was, it was like, uh, you know, you know what I used to, you know, what, I don't know how you work physically, but for me, what work physically is like, like as soon as I'm into the action on in ca- on camera, I get close to orgasm, man. So the the rest of the time I'm pulling back. Really? I'm pull, so it's like I'm having multiple orgasms, but I'm not ejaculating. That was my thing, man. So I had the best fucking time. I had that kind of control. I could stop uh-huh. right at the middle. I, don't move. Or I, I could do that. Oh, you would stop. Or I would not. stop, or I'd make her stop, or right. I'd pull out. Oh yeah. But I was I was oh oh I was always within ten seconds of coming. 
you know which, what? Which, which I loved. Yeah, the truth is that it pays to be on edge when you're in a scene. Totally. You know what I mean? It and pays. it's fun. Yeah. I mean, sometimes, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it, Well, yeah, cause you, can, you gotta be, you, you gotta be confident time. that you could stop in time. And I was, I mean, I yeah. did thousands of scenes. I knew what I was doing, you know. Did but, you lose uh, it? Huh? Never, did you ever lose it? Oh yeah. A couple, a couple times? three times. I don't know. Mark, you know who lost a lot? Mark Wallace. Who? <laughs> Mark Wallace. What about him? Well, he used to always lose it, right? Did he? I, yeah, I yeah. never did that many scenes with him. I would, yeah, a couple hundred. Yeah. But, well, he, you know, he was strong enough to... He's very strong. Yeah. Anyway, right. <laughs> so, um, after the first girl, right, how did that go? You know, I've been arrested, you know? It was 10 minutes, 20 minutes. It was you know, saying... The first girl. What about... What do you mean, 10 minutes? Well, you fucked her. Like, how, how long, long did it last? take? Yeah. No, it was a quickie. That's like really weird, man. I never did quickies. Never. Neither. Never. I, I, I was like, I, I got to tell you. So this is this is my history. So um, so after my father died, I'm living in in the, my an apartment with my mother and sister. Right, we all have our own rooms in Brooklyn and shit. You said apartment. Apartment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. So like I'm I'm jerking off like fucking crazy man, but I can't do it where I I'm gonna get caught and shit like you know. So I used to watch my black the black and white fucking TV in the den and shit, watching an old Sophia Loren movie, fucking hot, and and I'm 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 jerking off man, I, and and um I remember uh I had so much fucking cum. I said oh shit yeah I had to start do planning phases right. So I saw it. So I learned to start jerking off right to the edge and then stopping. That's how I train. I didn't realize I was training myself. So I yeah. used to do right to the edge and stop right to the, this for three hours. So by the time I came, it was like <laughs> sick, man. Boom, man. And that was my, uh, that was my strength. I, 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 I could fuck for, I could fuck for hours, man. Yeah, that's interesting. Me yeah. too. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. So the first You can either was... got that or you don't. I mean, I think I was yeah. trained perfectly, man. I was yeah. the perfect, sexually porn guy. I, I, you know, I could do it. The, the first girl I had sex with, it was for like four hours. Okay, yeah. You know I mean? Why would you want less? Yeah, she was but, great. But, it, but it's, if, it's better if you're going right to the edge. Then you're, only, you're having like a mini orgasm. Yeah. If, you, if you're just fucking and not get coming to the edge... Just fuck it. For like me, it. it's like, it's like the it danger all, yeah. of coming, man. Yeah. That's hot. So how long did it last? How long did you fuck her for? Who? The first girl. Oh, first girl probably wasn't. Uh, an hour. Maybe an hour. Yeah. I could have fucked longer, but, you know, what? You know, I wasn't that happy to be there to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so after that, right? How many more girls did you um, smash? Did, I, did you I, get... I, I, start, I started um, I started mingling with groups of friends and shit. So I saw, I was hitting one here, hitting one there. And then I went up to this uh, uh, New York University, upstate New York, with my buddies and and this chick who I knew through the crowd. Um, apparently, you see, I had a shitty image of myself. I didn't know I was. I had become really attractive. I mean, you get your awkward stage, but I was a good-looking guy, right? So uh, yeah, you're tall, six two, right? Six two, right? Anyway, so um, so so I get to fuck this chick. I'm not going to say names, and it was yeah, you no, you wouldn't well, know. Not, her. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, it's not, uh, not no, 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 right. no, 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 no. Okay. This is this is uh, this is like five years before I ever uh, got into the movies. So I fuck her, and then she's got a fucking roommate at the college who's fucking hot, and she starts <laughs> she starts. Coming on to me, I'm going. What the fuck, man? After I, you fucked her, after no, no, I fucked the friend first, and then her other friend, who's like, you know, so, 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 <laughs> just, just to tell you how what a fucking uh, how how little I lack confidence. So we're at a bar, right? Me and this new chick who's fucking smoking hot, smoking. You know, you just want to fuck her immediately, right? And she's she's, and so we're at the bar, and um. And she, she she takes a cigarette in in her mouth. So I take out my lighter, and 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 I uh, we're at the bar, and I I light her cigarette, and her hand goes like this to me. <laughs> She's oh, just yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went. <laughs> oh, serious! My hand falls off the bar accidentally, and it was like so embarrassing and everything. But I fucked her too. That was hard. That night. Probably, yeah. Um, Is she good? 
you know, who could say what's good and what's not? Because I've now been with the best, but, you know, she was good enough. But I, ha I had a girlfriend when I was 16. And we used to really get down, right? And I thought she has so much fire, right? And back then, when she was 14, I was 16, she was so hot. Unbelievable. That I would tell you that she's one of the best because she was so hot. And I still remember. My second wife was like that, man. Yeah. So, you know, so the, some girls are so, and I fucked maybe 12,000 girls, right? Right. And so some girls are hot as fuck. Some and they, are. They are. I some remember. are. And you never forget them, man. Yeah, you know. I'm telling I, you, there's just some just fucking, uh, there, you know, there's some, as, as, a, as a porn star, you know, a lot of times I have to fuck the same chick like 20 fucking, and there were just a few. That's fucking hot. Right, right. Every fucking time. Right, we don't want to talk. Ten fucking times, hot, hot. We don't want to talk shit because the girls, that love all the girls, but some of them really got you. Some of the hottest chicks I ever had were, were lesbians, man. Really? Oh, fuck, man. Really? Uh, yeah, you don't know that, man? Because they never fuck guys. So when they do it, man, they're like, yeah, let's Real go. Lesbians. Oh, yeah, man. I thought you would know that shit. No, I had some. Uh, I remember San Francisco, right? This is like 1980. I'm uh I'm living in Sausalito, right on the water, yeah. right? I know it's just after the bridge. Right. So we're so we're 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 leasing out the house we have for shoots and shit. And so um and Oh so, yeah, you're already hustling, huh? I, it was another guy's place. I wasn't oh, okay. making shit. Anyway, I was just living there for cheap. Three seventy five a month on the fucking water, you know, with my you know, Beautiful, right? Yeah, beautiful. it was beautiful, man. and you know, this is before AIDS. You know, so there were, you know, Before not that I'm fucking guys, but, you know, right. you know, it was, there was like six women to every guy in San Francisco back then. It was really? sick, man. Sick. I was like in fucking heaven when I moved to San Francisco. So, so Randy West meets me in uh, Sausalito, right? Good looking guy, yeah. right? I mean, you know, so we were, you know. Strong looking guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's a psycho, man. Is he? <laughs> I'm not gonna die. Really? And now I gotta tell you a story. They go, right. you'll crack up, right? So he used to be a male stripper, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so I met him. I was he started in New York after I was already on the West Coast. He started like around, I don't know, 79, 80, or something like that. I was 76. So so he's with me in Sausalito. And you know, Sausalito, if you've been there, it's a beautiful town. Yeah. Beautiful. Everyone's wealthy. So we're walking on the fucking street in Sausalito, and this car with two hot chicks pick us up man right. they pick us the fuck up i mean i'm going to... so so we take him back to my place and and i'm fucking this chick in my room and he's in the living room with my door closed i open the fucking door after a while and he's doing a dance for the chick. <laughs> fucking funny but i get some warmed up believe me oh no shit yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I didn't need any more about that. <laughs> no, but you know, some girls yeah, yeah, yeah. But if they picked you up, they should have been warmed up. Oh, shit. I mean, just to be picked up a lot, you know, that yeah, doesn't it's... happen every fucking day, man. I mean, uh, it used to happen more often, I think, back in the day. Well, in San Francisco, for sure, because like I said, there was like six girls to every guy. There were so many gay guys in San Francisco and shit. And this was before AIDS flipped out, you know. Must have been a fucking But I was uh, back to the lesbian story. So, yeah. so one day we, we booked this shoot. And they get this um Andy, that's his name, Andy Abrams, right? Yeah. Yep. So so one day we um we booked this shoot and everything, and they have you know, I mean, every now and then you'd get average looking chicks, right? You know, you're not gonna get a beautiful girl every fucking time, right? Like Shauna Grant or something like that, you know. So um so this one chick, uh, so we're doing scenes, and this one chick, she's a blonde. Kind of attractive, but average attractive, like you know, on the tall side and shit. Mm -hmm. And and uh, I, I, she came with her girlfriend, so I knew she was a lesbian and shit. So we start like um, we start like getting down with the camera and shit. And uh, and for me, the the greatest thing I love is when a chick has powerful vaginal muscles, man. When oh, she could squeeze me. Really? <laughs> yeah, that's a beautiful I mean, that's, thing. Uh, that's, the, that's the game, man. Yeah. I mean, it, to me, the, you, get, I, you got me for life. But let's face it. Not all vaginal walls are created equal. You, but you could do Kegel exercises. But, but they're not created equal. No, of course not. But you know, because some are just 
No, I Ugh. know. But if you yeah. if you do this, yeah. the clenching it'll exercises, it'll really help. It changes the whole fucking outline, man. Yeah. So this lesbian chick, oh, fuck. And, and, uh, and uh, you know, I, I like to, like, you know, you know, for me, like, when I would start fucking this chick, I like to go in real fucking slow. Just take my fucking time till I get all the way. And, uh, and, and, and so, so, so I, all of a sudden I feel like this. I'm like that. All the way across. Uh, I don't remember, but I... I, I, I That's the ultimate, no, all the way. No, 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 I, I start to feel a little squeeze, and I thought, yes, okay, it could be like by mistake. I don't know, sometimes do you... And I said, oh, yeah, baby, that's good. <laughs> I said... Let's you, see, wait. I said, I said, do that again. She was fucking awesome. Awesome. And then I'll, I'll give... <laughs> anyway, so, so uh, lesbians... I, I understand. Yeah, that. but my, my last vaginal power story, so I'm... Um, I'm not going to mention names. I don't want to embarrass anybody. But uh, so this is still in Sausalito, right? So this uh, this male porn guy who I was good buddies with, he was married to this really attractive hot chick, perfect tits and everything. And I always wanted to fuck her. And 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 uh, Brooke Adams. What? I'm not going to tell. Terry right. Butler. I, I, All right, I'll say it. It was it was uh, Billy D. Oh, okay. Billy I met him. Yeah, I heard him. He was great. Yeah. He was a great. Performer. I heard he's nice. Yeah. Great guy and a super performer, man. Yeah, super, really? super, man. This guy could do drugs all night long and still perform. Wow. Sick. <laughs> Great guy. A lot of fun. Anyway, he was married to this chick. I can't remember her porn name, so we'll leave it at that. But she's really pretty and everything. And uh, she and she's over for some reason, maybe doing a shoot for somebody else or everything. And she starts coming on to me, man. And uh, I said, man, you with Billy, you know. Because I, I don't do that to guys. Yeah. I really don't. That's my, that's my thing. You, you may want to do it to me, but I, I have respect for guys and, and their relationships. I don't do shit like that. I, there's plenty of chicks out there. Yeah, that's nice. So, I appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, I, if, if, some, I am. if somebody's my friend, I definitely go by that. Come on, you got to, man. Yeah. Even, even if it's, not, you know, if you know the guy or something, why fuck it up? Yeah. So I said, uh, you know, he, 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 and she says, no, no, Billy said it was cool. So I said, Really? I said, okay, put Billy on the phone. <laughs> I'm not fucking around. I, so she gets Billy on the phone. And, and I said, is this, is this cool? And he goes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it wasn't cool. He, no, no. Oh, he, he, oh. Said, he said, no, I'd appreciate it. If you don't, I'd say, okay, cool, no problem. But he said, yeah, I guess they did a little swinging anyway. Uh -huh. wow. So this, so anyway, beautiful, this girl. So we're fucking. White yeah. girl? Huh? White. White girl? It's Billy like these. Huh? Light skinned black guy. Right. I know. She right. was white. No, people don't know who Billy Dee yeah, is. She was white. Yeah, okay. Okay. okay, I'm telling you. The most powerful cunt I've ever felt in my life. She, she, she made me say, please stop. She was hurting me, man. Hurting me. As a matter of fact, this chick showed me that she could take a cigarette with her cunt, take a drag, hold it, and then blow it out with her cunt. This was the most powerful pussy I have ever seen. It, can you imagine? I, I gotta say, look, look, we're both guys that have strong dicks, right? My my dick was like like Nina Hartley used to say, uh, steel wrapped in skin. That was me, man. I was the hardest fucking dick. Never, no. This chick hurt me, man. Really? And I, I, I always have respect for that. So yeah. Anyway, that's that, that stuff. Great. All right, sorry. No, I have you get the shit you didn't expect. <laughs> I no, think you're talking to an old guy here. <laughs> well, I mean. It's just more of an intimate because we're both performers, right? right? right, so right, 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 right. More intimate than somebody else that's not part of the business, right? I I think, right? right? But most guys, they, they go inside a pussy and the girl can squeeze. They're coming immediately. They prematurely ejaculating. I, that was not our problem, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. yeah, it's interesting. You have some parallels with me because sometimes I used to stick my dick in real slow. I love those girls with the muscles, and uh, I could fuck forever. You know? Totally, man. I used to get the girls and. I said it numerous times. I just wear them out for six, seven, eight hours at my house, you know, <laughs> whatever. And then, you know, sometimes I had parties before, a little intoxicated, and that would be more like 50 hours <laughs> nonstop. <laughs> you know. You never really were a drug user, right? No, but once in a while I have a little party, you know. Yeah. Nothing? You never did anything? You could, you're not going to be arrested, man? Nothing? No, no, never said, coke? You never did coke? No, I said once in a while I would have a party okay. with stuff, you know, oh, okay. something. You know what I mean? But yeah, I mean, that's 50 hours later, you know what I mean? Right, right. But yeah, so 
you know, PT loves the drugs, right? No, he, he, he said, you know, he said it on a camera. He's a fuck, man. Right? He really is. But um, did you like the drugs? I was way into coke. Yeah? Uh, you know, this is like the, uh, from, uh, I was really doing a lot of coke from 1980 to 86. This was like the height of my career back then, you know? So I wasn't, I, I freebased here and there. I had friends that did, but I didn't like it. I didn't want to cook the shit up. So I was snorting mostly. So I was, who knows, I was doing 600 a week, man. I was working. Really? <laughs> it, it, it took me, a, you know, it was, it was only my first wife who didn't do drugs who came out one night. And if, if, you, if you had any experience with cocaine, I don't know if you have or not, it's a jerk off drug, man. Yeah. I, I mean, you didn't really. <laughs> No, it's like, not hard anymore. And, he, and you're jerking off for hours and shit. Until you, so uh, she came out one night and said, why are you trying to kill yourself? And I went, Jesus, man, she's right. What the fuck am I doing, man? I'm like 36 at the time, you know? Uh -huh. So uh, I, start, I, I, I started chanting and practicing Buddhism. Real, and and I, I chanted not to stop, just to slow down. I didn't want to stop doing coke. And then from the time I started chanting... Uh, every drug deal went bad. It was it, it was always inferior. It, just that the, the universe, I was out of rhythm with the drugs. So within about a month or two, I was clean. 1986. Wow. Yeah. So that's me. Uh, yeah. I've, I've dabbled in shit here and there now and yeah. then, but uh, but as far as a long time junkie shit, no, I'm done. I did everything. Yeah. I did heroin. I you know not just experimentally. Yeah, I didn't like heroin. Yeah, I did. Did you? <laughs> I, had, I had some kill, killer sex on gun heroin, man. Oh, slow. <laughs> hours. It was fucking hot. Really? Oh, oh, yeah. Man. Uh, How many times did you do it? I did it twice, both times. I was like, this is terrible. Really? Yeah, I snorted a couple lines, and I was like... Oh, that was it, snorting? Yes, I mainlined it. Oh, you did? Yeah, I mean, I, you never had one... I'm telling you, it's, a, it, it's like... It's, it feels fucking great. Yeah, I but I, but I, I didn't keep doing it. I said, I'm not going to become a fucking junkie here. I, mean, I was afraid of, like, you know, AIDS, you know, needle sharing and shit. So, I'm afraid of needles. I don't, you know. Oh, Jesus. Who wouldn't be? That's just yeah. I'm afraid of needles. A, B, I like to go up. I don't want to go down. You know what I mean? So. Okay, well, there you go. I mean, I, I you see, I I, uh, I wasn't doing that. I was doing a lot of coke, but, uh, but that one, that one. Uh, that uh, that one uh, time with that woman in her house, yeah, I mean, it was a, you know, like they thought I was a fucking mark. Oh, I'm from New York. Oh, and, really? No, they did a group of people with some hot chicks. There was this one chick in the business named Mary Cruiser. So I'm with her. And I wanted to fuck her so bad. I mean, I you, you know how you like on oh, films, yeah. you're doing a lot of solo <laughs> stuff with your own company and shit. But but there were times when. I'd, I'd be on set fucking chicks, and there was one chick I really wanted to fuck, and it didn't work out. They never scheduled you together. You know, I'm sure you missed a few, I missed, right? I, I missed I, I, 10, but Terry Weagle, I missed. Oh, I had Terry Weagle. And that real, at a younger age, that really made me pissed yeah, off. Yeah, I had Terry Weagle, man. I, I, I had, there, was some, there were quite a few that I missed out on, that I, ugh, Terry so Weagle pissed off. Terry Weagle was beautiful, fuck. In the, you know, 1992 oh, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Even when I fucked her, she was good looking. Yeah, now. but 1992, I mean, she's yeah, the yeah. prettiest, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so where was I? What the fuck was that? Yeah, the Mary Cruiser, you know. Oh, right, right. So, so, I'm at the, so we go to this. So they, so, so they want to cop some heroin, right? So, so I, I put in the money, right, and uh, and everything, you know. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm like a nice guy and everything, but I'm nobody's fucking fool, right? Uh -huh. So, so, so they, so they dosed me and shit. And they dosed themselves, you know, oh, you know and, and, uh, and I'm going, I don't feel shit, man. I said, I know they were on the dosing me. They said, okay. So the, the, they, you know, so they, all right, so they give me another dose. And I was like, Ugh, like immediately start vomiting and stuff, you know, but it doesn't feel bad. Heroin junkies vomit because they, it, but it, I'm, I oh, know no, this no, sounds no, disgusting. No, I mean, no, I didn't no, go no. all over the place. I went, yeah, but. After that, man, it was like, oh, it's fucking like warm velvet, man, warm cotton, just your, your body's just alive. And then, and then it's like, it was fucking hot. <laughs> okay, so I mean, I've seen heroin. I had a friend that used to do it, and I used to, he'd just be like, right? I mean, it turned yeah. you into a, yeah, a but, dope. Yeah, but yeah, see, I didn't do it a lot. Yeah. I did it a few times. 
but but this one particular time <laughs> for sex this is more for sex well I, the chick was into me that was at the house yeah. and and uh, and I, she said you could stay you know and and I, I said I, and somehow she she said yeah I got a boyfriend but he's uh, he's in prison and I and I'm thinking to myself this guy's <laughs> getting out tonight and he's gonna <laughs> fucking kill me right <laughs> so but it was just I remember man I was just like slow. Oh, yeah. It was great. Really? I loved it. Wow. But I, like, I didn't go crazy with it. I, I said, I can't become a heroin junkie. My mother will fucking kill me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I did two lines two different times. And, and you ne and you never uh, got a buzz at all? Nothing? No, I got fucked up. I didn't oh, like got... it. You know what I mean? Did you get a mellow buzz? Or, you yeah, know, you should be uh, like going down. I mean, I, don't, I'm, I got a weird uh, body. So I can, you know, different things hit me different ways. But those type of drugs... I think that I'm real resistant to. Really? You know what I mean? Some drugs, I'm, I can't handle weed, but heavy drugs, like sometimes I can handle them. So that, I didn't like it. Yeah, yeah. okay. Just, you know, but, um, <coughs> that's it. but you know, yeah. I mean, sex and drugs is a beautiful thing. Oh, yeah. Well, PSPT. Right? <laughs> that's what I was saying. He's crazy, man. You know, <laughs> I was like, you know, for me, it was like, uh, well, <laughs> I, I, are you familiar with GHB? Yeah, oh, I love that. Oh. I won the best sex scene I went with. Uh, oh my with God. Yeah. <laughs> the best That'd sex. be crazy, right? The best sex, man. Yeah, it was unbelievable. It was, uh, it was... I did it twice only. Oh, I did it like 10 times, and then I had a really bad incident where I did too much, man. I couldn't stop dry heaving. Oh, I yeah, couldn't yeah. vomit. It, it fucked my whole life up, man. So I had to stop doing that. But I was, I was shooting these scenes with another guy who. Great guy, good friend of mine right now. He's he you wouldn't know him. He's uh -huh. he was at uh, Jim's party. He's like an attorney, but he, he shot porn. So and he shot a lot of porn with me and him and one or two hot fucking chicks, the hottest. Yeah, so two old guys fucking a hot chick. So so and he's a drug freak, you know. So uh, so uh, he's a what? Drug freak. Drug freak. Yeah, my friend. Uh, yeah, he's an attorney. Is. Huh? He's an attorney too. Yeah. Yes, he is. Yeah, good, good attorney. <laughs> yeah, really? Great, great attorney. I mean, the drugs made him better. He loves Open your porn. mind. You know? He loves porn, man. Yeah. Oh, loves porn. We met, like, in 2007. We hit it off, like, super, super. Great guy. Great guy. And um, so uh, I get turned on to G, right? So listen to this, man. So, so, so my whole career, you know, like, uh, you know, I'm like the, the gentleman, the nice guy. I mean, I love to fuck and everything. And, I, you know, but I wasn't, like, really into dirty, nasty shit. And so I start doing G, and I become the fucking dirty mouth motherfucker. And I was fucking great. I mean, I had girls on set saying, man, I love doing scenes with you, Herschel, because you're so nasty. I mean, I was like, I, I, I just, I, I, you know, as I'm, I'm like an expert at phone sex. I could get any chick off on the phone. I've done it, you know. But uh, the G, fucking G, oh, man. It was, that to me, that was... Oh. That was the best. I think that. that so you've done. You, yeah. you see, it's the best. It's be crazy, yeah. I don't need much to make me crazy. Yeah, but it's unbelievable, right? <laughs> yeah, so you know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. And I haven't seen it. The last time I did was on Seymour Butts set in 1993. You you haven't wanted it since then. Probably, yeah. But I, I, could, know, I could hook it up, uh, not for me. It was powder. Is it the powder stuff? No, is this is liquid, man. Yeah, you, the powder. This... You took a couple. You know, and, I never even heard of the powder stuff. Oh, that's what you get at GNC or something like that. That was like real shit. I mean, it was real. No, dope. this is uh, we were doing pure yeah. shit in a yeah. bottle like it's this. Beautiful, yeah. just a capful. No, I mean one capful. That shit made me crazy. It was beautiful. And me get your dick hard as a rock. And uh, um, you ever fuck Marie McCray? Uh -uh. Oh God, man, look her up. Super fucking hot redheaded chick, little body. Like, to me, that's the kind of beauty I like. Green eyes and shit, red hair, pale skin, beautiful. So, um, so I'm doing this scene with her, and we both do G. She went fucking crazy, man. Huh? It was so fucking hot. She's like, you just, I, would, I would take a cigarette break and come back and fuck her. It was like, I was fucking This her. is a scene? Yeah. Huh. So this is like probably eight hours, eight to ten hours, man. I was fucking her on and off for eight to ten hours, and so beautiful. But she was gone. She was so hot. She just, she just, just pick her up, fuck her, throw her down, fuck. Her. Just beautiful girl, man. Look how beautiful she is. You take a look at her, man. Yeah.
Yeah, she's the, she. I, 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 you missed out on her, man. <laughs> I, love, I missed out on a lot of them. I love her. She's one of my favorites. You ever work with Penny Flame? Uh, no. Maybe. Yeah, I think she I was did. pretty popular, no, man. No, yeah, nine, that's two thousand four or five, right? Oh, yeah. easy, yeah. See her? She was cute. No shit. That's just cute. I think that's she's cute. awesome, man. That was cute. You know, you can't get much better looking than that as far as I'm concerned, man. She's beautiful, man. And hot. Hot, 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 pretty hot. Pretty cute. Uh, I like redheads, but I personally am attracted more to brown girls. Oh, I love Latinas, like, man. Black and dark and brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But Latinas are my, uh, to, if I have to pick an all-time favorite, Latinas, man. Yeah. I've been uh, with some great black chicks, too, but yeah. Latinas, man. I mean, I married a Mexican woman, so, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, Latin. I'm Latin, you know? Right. Well, yeah, um, no, Latinas, man, if they're, they're so hot, so yeah. fucking hot. Morning, yeah. Don't you think? I think, yeah, they got a lot of fire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you I mean, you think black chicks are hotter than Latinas? I think I, guess it I like them brown. You know what I mean? So I like so brown, brown Latinas, but the beauty of some Latin girls is mind blowing. Oh. Right? I mean, you can't even, sometimes yeah. when they're mixed just right, oh, Jesus, you're man. like, what the fuck? It's unbelievable. And they're, they're deadly, you know what I mean? Totally. They'll um, kill you, too. Yeah, they'll kill you, too. Up, you know? yeah. Yeah. I don't care what martial arts you have. They will yeah. slit your fucking throat, man. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever take martial arts? I, I studied Kung Fu right around, this is um around 69, 70. I had a Chinese buddy named Ken Lo. Okay, and, and, and me and a group of friends. I mean, he, he developed his own system based on other... Um, but he was a great guy and an expert Chinese cook, right? Uh -huh. You know, so we used to go to Chinatown in New York. It was the best. We would have loved Chinatown and shit. And that, so it, so that was great. So we, I trained for a couple of years, never went really anywhere with it. But I remember, like, we were all Bruce Lee fanatics. Because to me, he's the greatest fighter of all time, in my opinion. Uh -huh. And he, he's the father of mixed martial arts, in my opinion. Yeah. If you look at uh, Enter the Dragon, the first scene. Chris Arnbar. Huh? Yeah. He has an arm bar. Yeah. Not a very good arm bar, but an arm Okay, bar. but whatever. But yeah. the point is, he was training with everybody, and there was no one ever faster than him. I, you know, I believe, this is my own belief, anyone he would have fought, because he was so sick, you may not agree with me, he would have, he would have crushed them, because he would have taken their legs out. He, uh, uh, to me, Ali is my, my all-time greatest boxer, okay? Ali's the greatest in terms of withstanding punishment, and he's the greatest. There's no one ever better. As great as Tyson was, Ali would have figured him out. Ali was that great. That's my opinion. Anyway, but 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 Bruce Lee, he's the greatest man. I mean, for his size, and I'm studying. Yeah, I studied JKD forever. I and those ideas. He's 140 pounds, Bruce Lee. Yeah, but ideas but, are great ideas. Great philosophy that he had for fighting. The ideas, you know, technology. He was ahead of his time. There's no doubt, but 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 as as a street fighter, remember he he, he honed his skills after being with Hip Man. He honed his skills on the streets of Hong Kong. He was a tough bastard, Bruce Lee man. Yeah. He wasn't just a gym rat. This fucking guy used to take on five guys at a time. He was a fighter, and he would find a way to beat you. And he was the the father of Jeet Kune Do. Yeah. So you tell you take a six four guy, two hundred forty pounds, who's like you know the 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 only only problem he could have is if he's grabbed and, and grappled to the ground. That would have been his only problem. But I don't think he would have allowed that to happen. I mean, he, 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 had a, he knew his, his, his distance, man. Yeah, but the, the only, you know, and I'm an advocate of his, right? But when it gets down, it's a strange world out there for fighting. It's very strange, you know? Because you, there's some people out there that are so tough, right? They're so physically strong crazy. and tough. And they could take a lot of punishment, right, right? Right, And then those guys that are so strong could be bigger than Bruce Lee, right? Sure, of course. They're, they're all bigger than right, Bruce Lee. Right, right. But so Bruce Lee's kicking on them and punching on them. And these guys, you know, one or two guys, who knows? We don't know. Lands one or two nasty-ass, clean if punches. They land, right, if they if land. If they Which land. In the mix, it happens, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That, just, that do, could do, do you remember the other thing, man? Bruce Lee uh, developed... Uh, um, the skill, w whether it be one inch or six inch punch, he 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 uh, he generated s 
of the power of a huge man. This guy didn't punch like a like a girl, man. I'm, I, I, I'm just I, I, I'm just sold on Bruce Lee man. because you know, and I always try to practice. Right. You, know, you know, I took JKD for twenty some years. The idea is. Did you twenty years, man? Yeah. Jeet Kune Do, really? So you must be pretty good, right? So you were with Vunak, or no? I was with Mark Ballot, who trained with Vunak forever. And who, who was who was uh, um, Bruce Lee's protege? The uh, Filipino. Don Sinano. You never trained trained no, with him. I didn't train with him, but my trainer trained with Don for fourteen years, and then with Paul Vunak for a, a lot of years. So. So who do you think is the best practitioner of Jeet Kune Do today? Or the best teacher? The truth is, I never really paid that much attention to it. I just loved the skill that they taught me, and I did, used to practice it. Did, 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 you, did you learn to be just in the moment, whatever came up, you could respond to? I mean, because well, Shikun Do didn't deal with grappling in any way, did it? No, no. It was all that. striking, right? No, I, it just worked. <laughs> I can just tell you that. What about Krav Maga? You ever look into that? I saw yeah, It just seems like a little um, copycat of JKD. Really? To me, it seems like it, right? All I know is that heavy shots, quick, fast, heavy shots, land on the right spot. Yeah, you fuck the guy up, man. You get hurt. Yeah, of course you do. And mean. that's it. You know, you get hurt. Some people are stronger. Some people move a little bit better and they slip something. But you get hit clean with sure. the knee, the punches, the elbows, right. the headbutt, you're hurt. You can get hurt easy. Sure, Look at how big you are. Yeah. Without protection, just knuckles and bones. Sure. It's easy to get hurt. I know it is. Yeah. You know? So, are, you know, you, are you into uh, UFC? I love it, yeah. You watch every fight? I watched probably about 90% of all the fights. Yes, yeah, me too. From day one. Day one. Yeah. I got my kid into it in day one. As a matter of fact, he was commentating for uh, for MMA and shit. Really? He, yeah. He was, Did he train? He trained a little Krav Maga, but he didn't stick with it, man. And he's, he's like 6'3", slender. He's a good kid. Yeah. But he but he knows everything about mixed martial arts in terms of he could tell you what the technique is, but he's he, you know he's not the fighter, you know. But uh, but yeah, I, I the the first uh, the first um, UFC one was like ninety three or something like that, yeah. and I was there. I was watching it. I yeah. thought, oh, you yeah. were there? No, no, no. Oh, I was watching okay, it. Okay. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> yeah. I remember Tank Abbott, uh, Dan Severn, and there was some. Don Fry, I used to love I Don. I love Don Fry. Don Fry, the Predator he man, I loved he him. He lost it way later, but he he had he was the amazing. speed oh. and the strength and, and the anger. Balance. Oh. Yeah, it was he, great. Oh, Don Fry was the best man. Yeah, I, I met him one time. Did you? Yeah, and he was like, uh, you know, he, looking at me crazy, right? I think he was kind of messed up a little bit. That's really? what I think. No, Not was, high, but I think that he was. Maybe took punches. I don't know. Really? I, yeah, I, I was love, a big I fan of Don, his. Don Fry fucking great. Big, How about Marco Huas? You know what I'm talking about? Marco Huas? Yeah, yeah, he was no, king of the kicker, streets. Yeah. Uh, Brazil. Yeah. Fucking great it's, in his prime. He was fucking great. He was beating the Gracies and shit. So, 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 uh, so my friend from New York, Adam, he starts dating this chick named Debbie Purcell, who's a mixed martial arts in, in, in uh, fighter. You know, oh, this gosh. chick was sick, man. She was already in her 30s, and she'd hug you, and you'd say, this bitch is like a wire. You know, you wouldn't want to get into a fight with this. She'll choke your ass out. Maybe not you, but but she was a psycho. So she trained with Marco Huas School, right? Uh -huh. So I, I love Marco Huas, man. Yeah. I thought he, 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 it's just too bad. He, he he got the UFC championship, you know, by beating the big polar bear a guy. Kicked, right. Yeah. I, that guy talked shit to me one time out of the bed. Right, right, right. right. So, uh, Paul. Yes. Paul something, right? Yeah, right. You got it. So, uh, so I thought he was great, man. I thought uh, who who was was fucking uh, one of the greatest jujitsu artists in Brazil's history. The king of the streets. He used to beat the shit out of everybody. He was too old when he finally. Yeah, I never, I didn't know he was he was good jujitsu, Marco. Marco Huas was huh? huge, man. Look him up. Shit. Well, I know he was. Of course, I seen him fight no, numerous times. But then he didn't go to the ground very much. He, he just kicked people. He in the head. was huge on the ground. I'm telling you that they, they actually have video of a championship match. Like this is a two hour match in Japan or Brazil with Marco who was against it's either a Gracie or somebody else who was the champion. And and it shows his victory. What a psycho. What a mm. just perfect body. Perfect. I so I remember, strong. so like I was a big fan. So uh, Debbie Purcell, the chick, she, um, she goes, yeah, I said, I'd like to meet Marco, right? So, uh, so, so I, I, I say, uh, and he puts out his hand and everything, and his fucking hand was like twice the size of mine. Big hands, hands help. Yeah. Big hands help, man. Oh, yeah. Heavy, yeah. That's my point, 
right there. Yeah. Now, Bruce Lee had to fight Marco Hua, right? It's, it's rough. If we grabbed them. Yeah, no, I know. No, it would those, be rough. I, I'm, I'm overstating those, the case. I know. Those, like, those size, size definitely matters. There's yeah. no doubt, man. What, what's the, uh, the great uh, um, uh, judo guy, Gene? Gene LaBelle. So he was big friends with Gene LaBelle, Bruce Lee. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, oh, yeah. I mean, we're I thought, off the track thought, here. We're going to martial yeah, arts. Fucking while we're training. Yeah, let's move on. So, uh, <laughs> anyways, back to the, uh, back to the, back to this. So, um, we're talking about the fighting, but when? I mean, what jobs did you have before the porno business? <laughs> Man, I, you know, I, I was a postal worker. I, yep. I, I, I should have stuck with that. I would have had a pension and shit. Oh, could, come on, man. Yeah, but you know, yeah, you know, know come on. I, know. I would have missed out. You good looking guy, you would have got some action, but not this much. Come on. Yeah, I had a lot of pussy, man. Uh, and, and, and right before I moved to California in '79, I also could have been a New York bus driver, and shit. Harry was a bus driver. Who? Harry. Oh, was he? Yeah, he had 25 years. Did he? He, he said got a pension, huh? Yeah. Oh, good for him. Well, I didn't get a fucking pension, as you know. There's no residuals in porn, so here we are, you know, trying to make uh, life last, you know. But whatever, I had a good time, man. So you had a bus driver and you were a Well, I did, I wasn't. I oh, took okay. the test. They they said, come on in. Oh, okay. I, and then I said, fuck this, I'm moving to California. And then... Uh, so, so what other jobs? Not many, man. No? I was in sales for... Uh, when I retired in 87, I went to sales for Vidco. You know who Ruben Sturman is? Yeah. I went to work for him at Vidco, okay? And, and this is... 1987. Oh, after you fucking retired, I am... Okay. No, yeah. but yeah, before porno. No, before porno, not much. Not much? I wasn't good at nine to five, man. I, I couldn't handle it, man. Yeah. So, uh, no, not much. So how'd you get into business? What? Uh, well, well, before you got into business, were you a fan of the adult business? No. You didn't watch any I didn't movies? Watch shit. I, I read Playboy magazine or That's Penthouse. It. That was it. No porno? Nothing. Well, maybe I saw one or two right, on nothing. an eight at uh, 16. Pretty much. Minutes. I saw nothing, man. Never, as, go, a, as a matter of fact. You didn't go to Times Square looking down. No, I went to Times. No. I went to Times Square looking at hookers. I used yeah. to love that, man. <laughs> I used to fucking love that. I used to love that. I, I'm, like, I'm like 15, 16 years old, 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm walking the streets of fucking uh, Times Square. And so you know it was some seedy shit back then. Yeah. Show World Center. And, yeah. And, and, I, mean, and I did live shows at Show World Center. You know, That's where I started doing live shows and shit. That was 76 and everything. That was crazy. That was like mob controlled shit, man. I was, you, you get on stage with a fucking piano bench with some sick freaks in the fucking audience, 100, 200 people, and you'd meet the girl and say, shake their hands, and you're fucking them on a piano bench on the, in fucking Times Square, Manhattan. That was me. So, uh, so, you know. Joey did it too, right? Huh? Joey was my manager. Oh, yeah? At, at Show World Center, yeah. Joey Silvera? Joey Silvera. Was your manager? Yeah. Well, he was managing the, the Show World live show, so yeah, he'd remember that. Was he, well, is that before he was in the business? No, I think he might have gotten into business a little before me. Okay. A little before, maybe 75. I'm not sure. Somewhere okay. around there. So, yeah, we were right around the same time. So, um, yeah, he was managing that shit and everything. And um, so, yeah, I used to like... Uh, I just used to be fascinated going down to Times Square at 2, 3 in the morning. It was like, because it was dangerous, man. Yeah. You know, we get, what I, kind of hookers were out there? What, the whites and blacks? Or little black, everybody. everybody, man. Yeah, I was hot and shit, man. And uh, I... How much were the hookers? 50, maybe. But you didn't fuck them because you didn't get Well, I did to... fuck some of them because I had a buddy who had money and he used to take me to go to hookers, man. He used oh, to take me down. Nice yeah, he was, good, he was a good buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I never, I never paid. Although oh, I did pay, and I don't have a problem paying. I really don't. Everyone says, "Oh, I'll never pay for sex." Fuck you. If I see a hot chick and I want to be with her, and I got the cash, fuck that, right? I mean, what are you against? I mean, you know, that's oh, not. Oh, you know a, who you're talking to. Yeah. Uh, that's not an ego thing for me, man. I mean, if I like a chick, sure, I got the money here, baby. Come on, give me a good time, man. If you gotta take a girl out, put all hook, the time hook. that costs money too, because your your time is money. Hookers generally, uh, not that I went to that many, but uh, hookers generally didn't dig me because they I, I didn't come fast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, they hated the that. They fucking hated that. I got a great story. I'm in Germany, right, doing some shit. I'm shooting this movie, man, uh, a series of movies in Germany and everything. And I have... VTO or no? 
For VTO? Who's VTO? Uh, video Teresa Orlowski. No. Oh, yeah, I work with Teresa Orlowski. Okay, one, I did a scene with her. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and, so, so I'm, I'm there, right? And, and uh, the c cameraman, you know John Durham, JD? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay, so he was the camera. In Germany. In Germany, man, in Munich. Yeah. All right. No, I'm saying that JD went all the way out there. That's cool. <laughs> They're paying him <laughs> to be a cameraman. Yeah, of course they, he's over the way out there. So, so I'm there with the group of guys, and uh, and I and he gets this. I said, man, we got to get some hookers, man. We got to get laid. I'm on a fucking porn shoot. I had such a good time. I had people that were on the shoot that was in a hotel room come in, fuck me. It was like because I already had a name at that point, you know. So um so so we get this guide to to to, to sex shops and whorehouses in Germany. We get this fucking guide, you know. So we go to this fucking uh, we go to this like high end uh, uh, whorehouse. I don't know where it was, <coughs> and we go in and shit. Nick's some fucking good looking women, man. There's some there's some hot German bitches, man. Blondes, a lot of blondes. Uh, I like brunettes personally, but yeah, they're blondes too. But whatever. So um uh, so I. I'm like, um, I picked these two hot fucking chicks, right? And, and we go into this room, like elaborate room, big bed and shit and everything. And it's like, um, and so we're fucking and they're sucking. And, you know, and I'm like, I'm having a blast. I, I don't want, you know, it's costing me fucking money. I'm not common. Fuck you, you know? So, so, uh, so, so the one chick, she starts going, oh, you take so long. You take so long. I'm so I said, all right, fuck it. Okay, so all right, yeah, all right. You, it's too much for you, so I, so I pop. I, you know, I can do it on cue. So I fucking come, and that's it. We go out to the bar area, I'm done and shit. And they got this big video screen in the, in the thing. And, uh, and what comes on? Me in a fucking video from America. And, and the, chick, the two chicks, oh, that's you. Oh. It was, how, many how many people could tell that story? Yeah, that's what year was that? Uh, 85. So how'd you get in the business? So, um, so like I said, I couldn't, I wasn't good at doing normal jobs, man. I just didn't ha I hate being stuck, you know? You're free. You like to be free. Yeah, I like to be free. So, um, so I'm dating this chick, you know, who's crazy about me cause I'm the best fuck she'll ever have, you know? And, uh, and she says, and how old are you at this point? 23. 23, that's when I started, at 23. So, um, so she, um, she says, you know, I have a friend that's dating a guy that's in the porn business. You should, you should probably talk to him. I said, all right, so I'm thinking, now, now remember, I, I, I wanted to be a straight actor. I trained, I, I studied with great teachers and everything. So I, I did theater. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah, before yeah. Before this, obviously. Uh, before this, yes, yes. I went to, I went to yeah, I, I was way into studying theater and acting. Stella Adler? I was with Stella Adler in L.A., not a, New York. Uh, okay, I, I was with some great teachers, okay? What's the method acting, Stella or no? St anything that has to do with Stanislavski, the, the Russian teacher, is method. Mm -hmm. Okay, but, but, but there are different kinds of method. Mm -hmm. The important thing is that you tap into what's what's true. You're not just showing something fake. You have to you have to have some connection to it, mm -hmm. or create a connection that makes it real. Otherwise, it's bullshit. So yeah, I studied with great teachers and everything. So so she has me call. You know who Robert Kerman is? Arbola. Uh, Arbola was in Debbie Does Dallas. Okay, he uh, was like a New York. You know who I'm yeah. talking? Oh, okay. So I, I never met him, but I know he was. Oh, okay, all right. So he, so I give him a call, and he, and, and he says, okay, well, go down to this agency in Manhattan, go see Dorothy Palmer. This is on West Fifty Seventh Street in Manhattan. She has got an agency. She's a straight theatrical agent. So I, um, so I go down. I make an appointment. I go down. It was like you know, look like a normal working, you know. And I, I see the woman. She's got sort of. She looks like fifty ish kind of slutty looking who's trying to look elegant but not getting it together kind of like a wig like with uh, so so she she talks to me and she says she says okay i gotta take a picture so pull your pants down and i'm like i'm like i'm fucking shy man this is like bullshit you know i, I mean I, I was a freak but it was like you know i'm not used yeah, you're to modest 
Kind of. Yeah. Uh, not that I, I need I, this too. Okay. I mean, it was like, what? Excuse me? So I pulled, I pulled my pants down. My dick's like that. <laughs> <laughs> she says, and she, her eyes light up. And then, you know, I'm going, and, and she goes, okay, well, I, I will give you a call. You know, the, back then, there weren't that many guys that could do it, remember? But, okay. I mean, it's small, so she's well, still going to give well, you a call? Well, it wasn't like that small, I mean, but I wasn't hard. I, I, you know, I, I, I probably was trying to, I, I was embarrassed to even touch my dick in front of somebody else to, like that. You know, later on, you learn to, you're jerking off all the time while you're on set. <laughs> That's how you can stay yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. So, um... <laughs> Guys ask me, like, what does it take to be a porn star? I said, you got to be jerk, be able to jerk off in front of 30 people. I'd be watching football games with crew guys. I'm jerking off. I'm going, look at that fuck. You know, it's like normal shit. So anyway, they set me up with a, they set me up. She sets me up with my first gig. It's called The Loop. How long ago after that? I and mean, how much time passes? Within a week or two, uh, probably within a week, you this, know. This is 76. 76, right. March or so of 76. And uh, so, uh, so I get set up with this shoot. So I go to this shoot. You know who Ted Snyder is? No. Okay, he was like a, a mob uh, associate who was, you know, become one of the first porn shooters. A real psycho, man. Real fucking psycho, okay? Yeah. Like like a Jew mob guy, okay? Uh -huh. Ted Snyder, okay? He he was murdered later on in life when he moved to L.A., but he I got some stories anyway. But... um. So, so, so the job is a loop. You know what a loop is, okay? Uh, this was like basically no sound. Fun. They're just shooting. Like quick, right? Right, right. So I show up. 10 minutes, this, 20 minutes as they are? When it's finally done, yeah, probably 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, quick. Perfect. I love the loop. I love the loop. So when I was in, out, boom, come, boom, out. You know, 50 bucks. 50 bucks. And that's, that's decent money back then. Back then it was decent. What was yeah. that, like 150 bucks now? Or? Probably, yeah. For 20 minutes. 50 bucks meant something in 76, man, yeah. for a 23-year-old. Anyway, so uh, <clears throat> so uh, so I show up, nice apartment, midtown Manhattan, you know, upscale and shit. And it's like fucking, everything was filmed then. There was no fucking video. It was all film. Right. So it's like hammers, lights, this. I said, what the fuck, man? It was like crowded, makeup people. You know, it was like you're on a Hollywood set. So it's a nice set, kind of. Oh, yeah. You yeah, know, upscale, you said, yeah. Yeah, it's a nice apartment. Like, like if you bought that nice apartment. Nice couch. Yeah. Who remembers? Anyway, this is 40 fucking years ago. No, yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. no, nice. but the kind of apartment, if you bought it on the open market right now, would be worth $3 million in Manhattan, okay? It's a lot, you know? yeah. So, um, so that they say, okay, uh, uh, okay, uh, just hang out, and we're going to get to you soon. We're, we're starting a scene right now. So the scene is this hot blonde, she's at the breakfast table, and her husband comes down to sit, sit down for breakfast, and they get into it somehow, some stupid bullshit, you know. So um, the guy can't get it up. So I've never been in this point set before. They, they, you know, they give him 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, he can't do it. You know, if you can't do it right away, you fuck, get the fuck out, you know. Well, you're there to do a I'm, scene after? Yeah. Okay. So um, they never did one loop. They'll do three or four, you know. But with the with the film and sh film filming, it is much more in time yeah. entailed. You're spending money on right. film shit. So um, so the, so he he bows out. They put another guy in, and I'm just hanging out. And I'm like, uh, I go into the I you know, and, and another guy fucking fails. I'm telling you a true story. This fucking guy fails, right? So, so they say, okay, kid, you're up. I said, uh, okay. Uh, how did the girl look? I said she was hot. Yeah, she was, yeah, I knew she was a hooker on the side. I found out later on, but she was hot. Yeah. Let's put it this way. You'd fuck her. I'd fuck her. She was hot. Okay. I mean, she wasn't like some of the ugliest girls I'd been with. Well, this is my first girl. This is my first girl in the business. Okay. I, I, you, that's probably floating out there somewhere, that film, man. But uh, so so anyway so so I go into the bathroom because you know, I'm getting nervous man what the fuck's and I'm starting to perspire and shit so I say right yeah yeah my first fucking time I yeah I said I don't want to fail I don't I, 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 yeah I didn't so I pull my dick out the, the bathroom my dick my dick literally <laughs> yeah scared big, that big <laughs> and I'm I'm going like this I'm going like a nothing I'm going oh fuck I'm gonna lose out man I'm gonna lose out so. So I, I was scared shit. So, so, so this, 
<laughs> so I go out, man. They start the shooting. The chick's sitting down eating Cheerios and shit in the kitchen table. And then they bring me in. And, you know, it's no sound, so they could talk over the, uh, you know, the director. She says, okay, so so she picks up a banana, peels the banana, and starts going down on the banana and shit. This is the scene and everything. And it's like, the, you know. And then she says, okay, you walk in. She sees you, puts the banana down, she unzips your fly, right? So, so, I, so, I, so she unzips my fly, p- touches my dick, and I was like a rock immediately Whoa. man it was like, so the fucking crew starts laughing man they start laughing I'm, I'm getting embarrassed I said what the fuck man yeah and and they said no that's a good thing that's a good thing so I did the scene it was a success and then from there you know loops features shit like that so that's great so that really was a great calling I mean it was really it was a great call I mean there was no question I was born to do this man because you know what happens right because if you didn't do good that day Right? You might have been scared the next time. And well, let's put, if you don't do good the first time, there's a lot of famous guys that didn't do good the first time. Not me, but uh, probably not you. But but for, for me, if, if they, so psychologically, you might not want to come back. Well, yeah. But, well, I would have wanted to. <laughs> I guarantee you, I want pussy, man. But, and I wanted the cash. But uh, <laughs> keep looking at yourself. Are you still looking pussy. good? <laughs> crack up man so um yeah so i did good man and i always did good man i was like you know i'm the kind of guy that show up on set years later the crew was happy when i showed oh, up because wow. i didn't waste their fucking time because i was a pro i was a, a fucking pro's pro man i i yeah I, I could come on cue get myself hard you know it, it, it's always better if the chick's into you and everything but I, it was never fun. i i had scenes i'm sure you did too where the chick was a fucking bitch and hated me, man, for some fucking reason, because I was nice to everybody, and they tried to make me fail. They couldn't fucking do it. I was that good, that strong. That's why the, the crews fucking love me, I man. I know that, yeah. How would you not know yeah. this, man? No, I'm the no, fucking Hall of Fame. No, but I didn't, no, there's a the people in the Hall of Fame that... Yeah, yeah, well, they weren't as good as me. But, uh, yeah, I was, I, I'd, I'd say I'm one of the best natural performers of all oh, time. That's cool. For sure, man. Sure. I, I didn't know. I wasn't around. You know what I mean? No, no, I know. You know I seen you in some movies. I yeah, said, this yeah. guy's cool. You know yeah, you mean? saw me in movies when I was already in my 40s. I mean, I didn't. No, 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 no. Oh, well, younger. Okay. Yeah, I watched porno movies. I saw you in a couple movies yeah. when I was 15, okay. 14, 16. Okay, I mean, all right. So 18, you saw me, you saw me in, in a good time. 81, yeah. 83. So I yeah. saw you, you know, yeah. 84, maybe. Yeah, it was all, any scene you see me in, my dick's hard, man. There's, yeah. there's no fucking. Yeah. There's, there's only a few guys that I. Remembered, I thought were decent, you know. Right, Some right. other guys, I didn't think much of. Right, right. You know what I mean? You know, John Leslie stood out. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Jamie Gillis stood out. You know what I mean? Right. And um, I hope I stood out, right? Yeah, well, I remember you. You know yeah. what I mean? So the guys that I remember stood out. Right, right. You know what I mean? And you know, Arbola. No, he wasn't a strong no. performer. But his name he, stood out. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he, he was a decent, a decent actor. He but wasn't he, nothing to look at. No. And I wasn't and, looking and, at the and, guys. And he wasn't, right? a, he wasn't a dick man. Yeah. You're, you're exactly. a dick man or you're not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's cool. So then after, that's great. I didn't know that. That's, inter- that's good information for me, you know what I mean, to know. Because I'm all about performing, you know what I mean? Well, so was I, man. I took pride in being a really strong performer. Yeah, uh, I can do four or five scenes a day all the time, right? Yeah. And so I smashed every actor that came near me that tried to work next to me. You know, not beat him up, but, you know, just in a scene, you know. Right, they, sure. I intimidated him. But <clears throat> I didn't know that about you. So anyway, so then you do this loop, right? And then what happens? How long after that you get I called? Don't, yeah, it's, it's, it's a blur, but I started getting gigs and stuff. I mean, I used to I used to have this one guy, um, Bill, um, fuck, Bill uh, Lux, Bill Lux in fucking... Brooklyn, New York, right? He used to have a, a townhouse in Brooklyn, you know, average neighborhood, but in the basement, he had a little studio. And I used to go over, and this guy, Bill Lux, he's a psycho, man, because uh, uh, he wants to be in every scene. He want, he could fuck. But so, 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 so he didn't care if you couldn't get it up. <laughs> he just get in the scene, but that wasn't me. But we hit it off, so I, you know, I, I, I could always fuck. 
So uh, yeah, but he's he was a, I used to run to Brooklyn pick up two two scenes for a hundred or hundred fifty bucks, and and then shit started happening, and uh, you know I get fe- roles in movies and shit. You, you kind of remember, man. These these are like were like fucking eighteen hour fucking days. It was annoying as shit. That's why for me, that's why the crews really like me because. I never wasted time. I mean, even though I want to fuck for eight hours, when I got on set, I did the scene and got the fuck out. And that they, they loved me, the crews, and so did the girls. The girls loved me because I was a total pro, you know? Anyway. No, I mean, the girls in those days, right? What did you think of the girls in the 70s? Uh, there were was, there was some real hot ones. But uh, funky looking. I mean, not like traditionally really beautiful. You know, I remember uh, th- they weren't super, super good looking women, no? but they were super, super hot ones. Okay, I'll just, I'll just tell you, there was every now and then you'd hit a really attractive one, but it wasn't like overwhelming. So, you know, when I when I started working in uh, San Francisco in 1980 and shit, and I started working for. Um, Caballero, Swedish erotic and shit. All of a sudden, the fucking girls, man. Oh shit! I'm I'm getting to fuck this girl. I mean, it was, it was it started changed completely. All of a sudden, the San Francisco was, and then uh, between L.A. and San Francisco back in uh, 80, 81, you know, it was like pff, hot. So fucking. New York girls weren't that hot because they were well, so- they were hot, but I I thought the the, the the level of looks was better in in the West Coast. What girls in the seventies? Can you remember that were from New York that were some? Well, they weren't from New York, but well, there was one really beautiful one from the 70s, Annette Haven. She was from Frisco or from New York? She was from Frisco, but she worked in New York a lot. Okay. She was a big star. She was beautiful. You look at her now, she's still beautiful. Yeah. PT used to go out there, he said. Whether or not he did, yeah, he fucked everybody. Who the hell knows? Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. As a matter of fact, um, you know, when you when you when you look at Annette Haven in the seventies, chick was flawless, man. Perfect tits, beautiful face. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Gorgeous. Oh yeah, some girls you look at. And oh, say, she she was she was a, a beauty, yeah. you know. And um and uh, uh and some of the girls that are beautiful are actually really good, and that makes it even more dangerous. Oh, yeah, she was, you're done. She's out. Of, yeah, yeah. So uh, well, she was good. Fuck too. Everything. Yeah, she she liked to talk a lot to tell the crew the lights. And oh, I didn't like that oh, shit, you know. Oh. So she's out there. But um, that's, that what, that's what happens with pretty girls. I'll tell you honestly, some of the hottest chicks I've ever been with on set were not necessarily the most beautiful. That's it. Yeah. They're either hotter than not. She she was beautiful, so I like being with her. I mean, she had flawless white skin. She's a gorgeous woman. Yeah. And I remember, you know, uh, you know, I'm working, and you know, these these top girls, they they could say, I don't want to work with that person. I don't want, you know, you're on a Same yes part. list or not, you know. So she 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 says, yeah, I'll work with her. So she know, I didn't even know if my name was her. So then I changed my name fifty times, you know, until like or until around eighty two when Jamie Gillis and me came up with Herschel Savage. I changed my name because I wanted to stay becoming an actor and I didn't want people to recognize who the fuck I was. And then I realized I'm not getting more pay because they don't know who the fuck I am. I had so, you know, I was the original Jack Black. I took that name. I should have kept that fucking name. Really? I'm serious, man. Yeah, I was Jack Black, Bill Berry, Paul Hughes, all kinds of fucking, Vic Falcone. I I had all kinds of fucking names. Wow. But Jack Black was a good one. I should have kept that. I love Jack Black. Name. He's a good actor. He is. But I should have kept that name. He wouldn't. He wouldn't. Uh, you know, yeah. I would have been there before him. He didn't come out till like the '90s and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. That's true. Yeah. So then you moved to New York because. No, no, I lived in New York. I mean, York. excuse me, you moved to Frisco because... I moved to San Francisco, but I was kind of on it, to be honest. The porn scene in New York, fucking depressing, man. So it was like a lot of scummy fucking people, dirty motherfucking mob-controlled uh-huh. pieces of shit. I, I, or a gay guy like uh, Chuck Vincent. You ever hear Chuck yeah, Vincent? You know, he worked with Ron Jeremy a lot, but he was, he was gay, man, and... Uh, I don't know if he had, if you had to fuck him to get a part, but I never had one role in the Chuck Vincent film. So there's a lot of the the bigger outlets in there and shit. I wasn't working for. I was, you know, you, you know, it's funny. I was one of the best actors, but because I was so strong sexually, they put me into the stud roles. Oh, yeah. So I lost out and shit like that because you know you figured the guy can fuck so good. It, we don't need him as an actor. So that's that's a, that's a weird thing about my career. So um. 
So I said, this, it's a, I'm, I'm fucking burnt out. I'm tired of fucking New York. So you're basically, you're getting, John Leslie's New York, right? As a matter of fact, John Leslie in New York is the guy that says you should go west. <laughs> I met him on a loop shoot, you know, for this people, Peter and Iris and stuff. So, yeah, he See, was not. John Leslie, Jamie Gillis. Yeah, Jamie York? Gillis was like the big star was Jamie Gillis and John when, and when I started. And then, but, and then Ron, New York. but Ron was after me. But, uh, 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 you know, um, what's his name? Uh, Eric Edwards. You yeah, know, Eric, yeah, he was Eric, a big, he was a big York, star right? at the same time. So yeah, so so John said you should come west, man. You know. So so those three guys, pretty much, Eric Edwards, John Leslie, and Jamie Gills, were getting the, the better roles. Oh yeah, 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 almost every time, you know, every fucking time, you know. And I, I'd get supporting roles and shit, but it was like, yeah. yeah, not that I wanted to be this great acting star in fuck films. Who gives a fuck? Oh you know, no, what a fuck. What? No, but you, you did. Yeah. You want your you eh, whatever, whatever. You I, I, I was underappreciated for sure, but I was appreciated for my sex ability. I mean, that was that, that was I was that good sexually that I got in every movie. Wow. But uh, so, and then later on, I said, you know, like, you know, top pay for for us back then was like. I mean, I got as much as twelve hundred a day. Okay, Whoa, for, really? for a big feature, yeah. Big in, feature. in New York? No, this is L.A. Okay. This is L.A. New York, what was it? Well, I don't know. I, 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 I never worked in New York again until I went back there for a Vivid film in 97 for PT. So I, who the hell knows what that's, I made. So you left. No, but when you were working in New York, it was 50, 150, that's what no, you said? No, no. I was, I was probably averaging three to 500 a scene in New York back then. Yeah, it sucked. Yeah. Sucked. Anyway. No, but it's the, it's the 70s, right? Money's worth more. Whatever. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it, 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 the point was... It wasn't what it became. It wasn't like I was working five days a fucking week. I, I sometimes work a, go a month without a fucking gig. It, it was fucked. Sometimes it'd be a lot. So I wasn't making that much. I got you. So, so, I, so, I, so my sister's going to school in San Francisco State. She says, you got to come out here. You'll love it. You'll never leave, right? So, uh, you know, my mother had already moved to Los Angeles when she remarried. So, so, I, so I went to visit her in San Francisco. This is like 79. I said, damn. I loved this fucking place. This weather and everything. Yeah. I loved everything about it. Yeah. I loved the weather. I loved how, I loved the view, the bridge. It was just a magical fucking city for me, man. I, and, and getting out of New York was like a fucking rat race. I wasn't appreciative. It sucked my dick, you know? So, so. <laughs> no, no, love. You know what? I don't let you know. So we do have more parallels. I said PT, we had some parallels. We had the same name and my, both fathers were big, strong, you know, bad guys and, uh, or good guy, bad guy. But I felt like I was underappreciated many times. You know, that's what I have felt like numerous and numerous times. Oh, you're not an actor. Right, right, oh. right. I'd be like, I thought we were doing porno here. Right. Anyways, I understand. Yeah, so it sucked. So, so, uh, so, when, I, so when I moved, uh, I, I, I'll tell you, when I moved out to San Francisco, like uh, there was a group of guys. PT wasn't really part of that group. He had his own thing, but... Uh, you know, like... Um, what do you mean he had his own thing? Well, he, he came from straight shit. He had a straight film career. He was in Jesus Christ Superstar. He was, on, he was in a, a musical theater yeah. thing called Beach Blanket Babylon. So he was kind of royalty for the porn people, like the Mitchell brothers and shit. They put him in a lot of shit. So he wasn't running in the, the average porn crowd, you know, the, wor <laughs> the, the workers, <laughs> right? the worker bees, right? Yeah, I got you. So, so I'm like... Uh, so I'm trying to, so there was this guy named Jerry Abrams. So, so these guys, they- Jerry um, Abrams, almost like that, J.J. Abrams, but not, obviously. No, no, Jerry Abrams, a fat guy with a, with a, with a polio infected leg. He's, he had a big limp, but he was the loop guy. Did every fucking loop. In Frisco. Frisco. So, so uh, I could not get fucking work except from Jerry Abrams. Because these fucking guys closed my ass down. The, the top guys. Who? Who are the guys? Um, John Martin. who's Jerry I, Heath. I, I, I'm, I'm good I've friends. I've never seen that name before. Yeah, I, I'm good friends skinny with Skinny guy. Yeah, skinny. very skinny. Blondish hair. Yeah. yeah. Funny. Funny. Yeah. This guy used to crack me up on set. Yeah, you know, but... Um, uh, Milton Ingley, you know Milton, right? Yeah, I, I I was living in Milton's place on in Sausalito. What a psycho, man! What a sick situation that was. I used to fuck chicks that, and he'd walk in the room and start a conversation. I said, "Excuse me, man." He's fucking out of his mind, man. Really? He thought I was gonna say, "Yeah, come on in." 
Fuck that shit, man. Okay. <laughs> he was he was good though. Um, he was a good performer for, for his weight and shit. You know, I was like, oh, he was fat. You say? Yeah, he trimmed weight? it down a little bit when he started. He 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 lost probably up seventy five pounds when he started working all the time. But you know, since I, I was one of well, you, you know uh, DPS, man. Like uh, I was. I was one of the, the, the guys they always used in DP because I could lay on my back and not move and my dick will stay hard. So I was good. So there was always guys on, you know, so you learn proper etiquette and shit like that. But um, what was my point? Uh, oh, yeah. So there so was a group of guys. So John Martin, Milton, who else? Milton, not so much. Um, what the fuck else was there? You ever heard David Morris? No. He was a New York guy, big dick. It was a good performer. He fucked up. He, he, you know, he worked to fuck me up. They spreading shit, rumors. You, you know, people do shit. You, 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 this guy, you know who did this to me in L.A.? This is way into Nick East. Okay, Nick fucking East. I don't have any. Are you serious? No, listen to this. Jim, I, I get hired to do a fucking scene with this hot chick. What, from what Jim, listen, from Jim South. And Nick East fucking bad mouse me to the chick, and the chick won't work with me. So from that, he was dead to me from then on, man. He did that to me. But just to make you feel a little better, he did the same thing to me. Really? And guess what happened? Kicked his ass? I went to his house. <laughs> I went to his apartment, and I got, you know, Bianca Trump. Beautiful Bianca Trump. Before you were already gone, but you know, when you I don't came know, back. I know that name. I might have fucked her. I don't know. I don't think so. But Okay, um, all right. But anyways... How'd you find out he bad about you? She told me. Oh, she told so, so, so why so why did she knocked on his door? He came wait, out. Wait, 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 before you go on. So she she did not want to not work with you. She didn't take his word and say fuck P T T, right? No, she, no, she no, I I've, I've been fucking her when okay, she, so, so before he, he had even yeah, met so he, but he, he lost, didn't even know he that. lost me a gig. No, but he, he lost me no, a gig. No, no, you know? He was talking shit on set. So I went to his apartment, got him to come out and beat the fuck out of him. I didn't beat I just beat him, made him cry and Beg for mercy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I said, don't ever, I'll kill you again. But I dropped him and I think I only punched him once or twice. He was done. He's a punk. But, 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 but never. I would never do that to another guy. He's a punk. For, I, I would never fucking lose another guy a gig because I did, never did that shit. Right, man. but for a, a younger. And for him to do that to me, I mean, I was like at that point, legendary status. Don't fuck with me, right, man. Right? Yeah, you're a piece of shit, motherfucker. Yeah. Isn't yeah, that was, funny I bring up the same guy? Yeah, you know, Christy I Canyon, just, uh, Chris Canyon's on there. She said she couldn't stand him. I told her the same story. But yeah, he's a punk. So right. now I know he's a real punk. Because while you're, you're a nice guy, you don't, yeah. Don't do that to people. Yeah. And I lost a gig. And you, and you know what? When you lose a gig, never coming back. He's a That's money you're never going to see again. Yeah, so I, so, so for me, it was, he was like, Shh, I'm never, I'm never going to shake hands and say, oh, yeah, oh, no hard feeling. Get the fuck out of here. I'd say, listen, uh, anyways, I smashed so, him. I back, punched him. He was done. So, yeah. ba so back, so, so, so the group of guys, uh, I'm, I'm living at Milton's, right? I got my own bedroom. He walks in when I'm fucking all the time. Very annoying. And he would talk. Are you, did you know Milton? Oh, from the studio only. He's very uh, nice. You know yeah, I mean? very nice. Yeah, but if you live with him, anyway, never stop talking, right? He's dead now, of course. I didn't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's been dead for years, man. Uh, yeah, he has some fucked up thing happened. Anyway, yeah, I, I thought you would have known that. Anyway, so yeah, Milton Ingley, uh, he, 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 uh, he, he took John Wayne's real name for porn, something like Morrison. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 something like that. Yeah. Michael Morrison? Yeah, Morris, yeah, Michael right? Morrison, right. right. So, um, so, so, uh, so we, we, the, the, a shoot gets booked in our house on, in Sausalito, and, uh, and, and all, it's going to be a number of shoots, right? So the, all the top guys are there, right? And and I was struggling to fucking find work for six fucking months. I was I was living on Bud's ice cream Sundays. I was fucking so thin, I couldn't get jobs except for Jerry Abrams and maybe one or two others. I was dying, man. And that fucking David Mar <coughs> Morris cocksucker, who <coughs> I knew from New York. He was you know because I was. You knew him from New York too. Yeah, I knew him from I knew everybody. Man. And you're New Yorkers, and he still. Well, we were never friends. He was he was another punk piece of shit. Good looking guy with the big dick, but he, he's a fucking junkie. What was and his it, stage name? David Morris or something else? His, what was his stage name? Yeah, I don't uh, David Morris. Oh, okay. I think so. Okay. I, I, I think he used his real fucking name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never saw that name, but yeah. Yeah, who the hell knows? So, uh, 
So I'm, I'm, I'm doing a scene, you know, I'm, I'm getting ready to do with the chick, you know, in, in the room and, and, or in the, li- you know, it's in the living room. Okay. So there's a decent sized living room and like four or five guys that are there are like this. Okay. And man, I didn't miss a fucking beat. I yeah. fucked the shit out of that chick and they never bothered me again. Man. They felt, yeah. now, I was never intimidated. I don't care who the fuck I'm fucking with, man. I'm, I, I got my dick. You got yours. Good luck. <laughs> I, I saw guys that wouldn't try to intimidate me. It was like, shh. The fuck out of here, man! You know. Well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, because it's easy. Nah, you know me as an older guy. Yeah, yeah. But but as far as sexual power, I was like one of the tough guys, man. I was like, loved it, loved it. 